So me and Lucy the Beagle. Go look at the camera, Lucy. She's not very, you know, excited about the camera. Um, I'm going to film this little video. Um, kind of reviewing the stuff that I got in my My Glam bag today. Today. This month. So, um, for January's My Glam bag, they sent me four things. Three full-size product and one deluxe sample size product. First full size product they sent was um, Freeman's Peel Off Mask in the Cucumber. And this is by far the best product ever. Because, um, I mean, I've been using this since I can remember. My mom's always had it since I can remember. <laughs> and so it's always been in our house. And, um, I mean, I remember being really little and uh, wanting to use the mask so I could peel my face off. And that's what makes it a really good product for um, everybody. Uh, because if you have kids, even like boys, and when they're younger, they want to peel <laughs> their face off. So it's a good product for them, and it's a good product for even adults, because um, it, really, it really does make your skin super soft and pulls all the dry skin off, and it's really good for your skin. So this product is, is my favorite beauty product like ever. The next thing is the deluxe sample size and it's Wen Sweet Almond Mint Cleansing Conditioner. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I mean it's supposed to have like really crazy good reviews and everybody's supposed to love it and stuff but I really don't. Um, it's supposed to like make your hair really healthy and shiny and clean and all this other stuff, and it doesn't work any better than my shampoo does, and I'm using, like, Herbal Essence's $3 shampoo, and so, it's not, it really doesn't, you know, it's not really an outstanding product. Um, and then you're also supposed to be able to use the same amount of shampoo you use, and I'm using, like, three times more of this cleansing conditioner than I am using shampoo, and so... For me, it's not worth it because um, to get the full size product, it's a monthly subscription type thing where um, you pay. It's I think thirty dollars a month, twenty nine ninety nine a month, and they send you your monthly supply. Well, the problem with that is if I'm using three times the amount I'm supposed to, that would mean that my thirty day supply will not last me thirty days. It would last me like ten because I'm using like three times more than it's supposed to. And so, um, then I'd be waiting, you know, the next 20 days before I can get my next supply. And that's not going to work out for me if I need to wash my hair between supplies. So, it's just easier for me to use regular shampoo and conditioner. And it works the same for me, and it's less expensive. So, not such great reviews on this one. The next thing is um, an eyeshadow from the Balm. It's the Shady Lady eyeshadow in Luscious Lanny. And it's almost the same color as um, Sin by Urban Decay. And you probably can't tell. That looks like it's like a cream color, but it's not. It's really kind of like a peachy color. Um, but my lighting is really bad. But uh, because it's almost the same color as Sin, which I got last month in my glam bag, um, I don't really have anything good to say about it or anything bad to say about it. It's almost the exact same, uh, quality as Urban Decay's eyeshadow. So, um, nothing good, nothing bad to say about it. But, um, I've been using it every day as just like a neutral everyday eyeshadow. I have it on right now. It just kind of makes my eyelids look a little bronze. But, um, and they really don't, you can't really tell how much I have on, um, in normal lighting. And that's just because I have a fluorescent light right there. And that's why everything is really, really out of color. But, it's not good, not bad. It's just an eyeshadow to me. really don't have an opinion on that. And then, the fourth thing that I got in the glam bag was Sheer Covers Dual Concealer. 
and the colors look really off in this. But I've been using the medium side because this is a light medium. Um, and I've been using the medium side. And um, at first I wasn't so sure about this because the texture is like really, really creamy. And I'm used to like um, like Halloween makeup type texture. I have like the Hard Candy Concealer Palette. And it's a really like more solid, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's, really, it's more solid of a texture, and um, it's more like Halloween makeup type feel, and that's what I'm just used to, and I'm like used to like concealer sticks and stuff. So to, to use this was really kind of weird, I'm just not used to like, it's, it, it's a solid, but it comes out kind of liquidy, and so it was just, it was weird for me to try it. So I wasn't so sure about the texture of it at first, and then the more that I got to use it, um, the more I, I actually really like the concealer itself, the texture I'm still not sure about, but the concealer itself is really good. And, um, there's the way. and the medium color is actually just a little bit too light for me, but it works because I usually just use it to cover up like blemishes and stuff, and then I put foundation and stuff right over it. But, um, otherwise I, I really like it. However, I wouldn't buy it. Um, it's another one of those subscription things where you have to subscribe and they send you a 30 day supply. Um, but it's, it comes in a kit, which I don't need. Um, I won't use any of the other stuff in the kit, so for me to pay I think it's $19.99 every month for it, it would be a waste of my money because I won't use anything else in the kit. So, for me to, for me to bother with that, it's not worth it. So, whatever. But, um, I will use this until I hit the pan, or actually use it until the pan is empty. But, otherwise, it's not really worth my time to buy it. <clears throat> but, the product itself is good. So, if you're willing to, you know, buy the whole kit and you're going to use the foundation and stuff that comes with it, go for it. It's a, it's a good product and she covers a really great brand. But because I don't use any of the other stuff in the kit, it's, a worth, it's not worth my time. So, those are the four things that came in my glam bag this month, and, um, yeah, that's why I kind of thought about them. Um, I wasn't so, I wasn't, you know, shocked and awed by this month's glam bag, but, um, I'm paying $10 a month, so I can't really complain. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that was this month's glam bag, and I'm excited for next month's already, and I, I want to try more makeup, so... <laughs> So have a awesome, awesome night. Bye.